Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick tip tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to put a tattoo on yourself uh, for your movies or your projects. So very quickly, I'm just going to import a couple of my assets, uh, my video file, and I'm going to import a PNG uh, tribal tattoo that I downloaded loaded off the internet. Any PNG tattoo would do. There are so many uh, on the internet, so you should be good for that. So I'm simply going to drop my... Uh, Compos co uh, composition or video into my timeline. I'm just going to trim it where I want, very simply. Uh, nothing special. So I'm trim my comp area to make it short for this uh, video. Right, so now if you look very carefully, I've drawn some pen marks one, two, three, four. Even though I'm only going to need two, um, I did two more just in case. With my video layer selected, I'm going to go to animation track motion. I'm going to zoom in, bring my first track point to my first marker, which is there. I'm going to click on rotation down here under tracking, and then I'm just going to bring my second track point to my second uh, track point marker. I'm going to basically come into this area, I'm going to create a new solid simply, or sorry, a new null object, shall I say, which is here, um, and I'm simply going to make sure my timeline's at the start. Make sure it's on full res and then simply gonna let's edit target, no one, click OK. And I'm just gonna analyze that forward very quickly. So you can see I'm moving, you can do this with walking, any sort of movement movement you want. Okay, so that's done. So I'm gonna click on apply, X and Y, click OK. That's my null layer set up or my track set up. I'm going to get my tribal tattoo. I'm simply going to drag it and drop it into position. I'm going to get to my toggle switch, switch and make that a 3D layer. Um, and I'm just going to basically position uh, my tattoo uh, where I want it to be. Uh, very simply. Uh, maybe scale it down just a touch. Like so. There looks okay. And I'm simply going to get my tribal tattoo and pairing it to my null object, like so. And now we have um, a nicely tracked uh, tattoo. It's as easy as that. Now, uh, then I'm going to come up to effects, come up to composite in wizard, and then I'm going to go to uh, edge blur, and which is going to give me a little blurry sort of edge to my tattoo to make it look more realistic. Oh, done that wrong. Put that to about sorry three, which is fine, and then it's entirely up to you guys how you uh, color correct uh, this tattoo. So it's entirely up to you how you do it. You can use curves. I'll just bring it in and just make it brighter or darker, or just basically do whatever you want with a tattoo. So that is my quick tip um, on how to put a tattoo on yourself. I like say it works with sort of any sort of technique uh, you want. Um, if you get out of line like this, it's just a case of opening your, um, sorry, your, your tribal tracking data um, and just basically fixing it, basically. Uh, but it's as easy as that. You just go down to your, I can find it. Go back up here. Tracking data. And just basically, here's your tracking data here. And you're just basically going to just. Uh, move the uh, the points wherever you feel that the tattoo comes uh, basically out of line. But it's a question of just playing around with it, playing around with colours um, and the colour correction on that, you know, just to get it um, exactly how you want to get it. So uh, I hope this uh, video has been helpful. Um, as always, thanks for listening. Uh, a like rating would be appreciated, and I'll definitely catch you guys. Oh, before I go, sorry. Sorry, sorry, before I go, guys. Uh, go brightness and contrast. And bring the brightness down on the tattoo. And just play around with the contrast as well. On the tattoo. So, as always, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, if you have enjoyed this quick tip tutorial, a like rating would be appreciated. Um, and I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.